Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. The problem here is the food sucks. Chef Ramsay heads to the heart of America. God bless Middle America. South Bend, Indiana. That looks like it closed down 10 years ago. And find some unforgivable food. It looks like a fucking dog's dinner. What is that? In need of extraordinary help. Good and gracious God, we ask to bless this food. Amen. But Gordon's going to need more than a prayer to turn this restaurant around. It's an insult to fast food. It just makes me want to cry. Two of the owners are barely there. Rick, you're not here. You can't blame this on me. Yeah, you're never here. The third is running it into the ground. What's wrong with the business? John. I've lost the passion. Oh, my God. And an angry staff is caught in the middle. You're killing this man over here saying that he's not good at anything. And don't blame everything on him. Can Gordon unite the owners and resurrect Jay Willings? I'm not going to do anything. Don't give up on us yet. We're going to end up homeless, and it's all because of Jay Willings. That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. South Bend, Indiana, a middle-class town made famous by the University of Notre Dame. Just a few miles down the road is Jay Willie's restaurant, owned by husband and wife Rick and Tricia and their friend John William. We're having a great day at day at Jay Willie's. This is Richard speaking. How may I help you? When we took this over, it was making great money. Every year consistently, this made great money. Yo, yo, let's make money, man. Come on. The day-to-day -day management of Jay Willie's is left to John, as Rick and Tricia live over three hours away where they own another restaurant. Who knows what's going to happen tonight? We assumed that John would be able to uphold the service standards and the food quality that we have, and it will continue to make money. I can do it. And John has run us into the ground. John has just let things go. I certainly got off kilter. He needs to step up. He's got to be the spark. He's got to be the fire. He can't just be back there. Uh, 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 thinking and contemplating what he's supposed to do. He's got to do it. It's really been tough. Since we were struggling and we weren't really bringing in the cash, we don't have a chef in the kitchen. I'm just here to to serve what he wants me to serve and get it out as fast as possible. All right, got an order up. You get a lot of complaints about the quality of the food here. And that was just a frozen patty. I'd rather really have a little bit of paper burns. That was really gross. It's not much fun working in a restaurant when all you have to experiment with is canned beans and uh, enchilada sauce out of a jar. The standards have declined so far that I, I'm not even sure we can revive it. I don't think we'll come back unless something's fixed. Sales have just pretty much flatlined. You know, this sucks. This is tough. Now, this place is so depressing, it's hard to even talk about it because it just makes me want to cry. <sighs> now it's just slipped into complete failure. Once it closes, all the money I put in, everything, you know, my inheritance, everything, it's gone. If we don't make that 22000 a week, then we're cooked. We've cashed in our 401ks, we have no savings, and there's nothing left. So, I mean, if this doesn't work, we will no longer be here. We're gonna end up homeless, and it's all because of Jay Willis. <sighs> but it's just, you know, that's it. Willie's Bar and Grill, that's fine, but as for that ghastly sign at the bottom, whenever a sign's flashing, it means desperation. The outside building, well, that looks like it closed down 10 years ago. Let's hope inside is much better. My God. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. Rick Excellent. Sutton. Rick, good to see you. Gordon. David Benningham. Nice David, to meet you. nice to see you. First of all, who put that ghastly sign up outside, the one with the flashing lights? I believe our owner, John. Is John here? Yes, he is. I can't wait to meet him. 
very embarrassed to have Gordon Ramsay come in here. Uh, he's a world-renowned chef. We're not even close to being up to a decent standard. <sighs> chef Ramsay. John William. John, good Owner. to see you. So you are Jay Willie? Yes, sir. Excellent. Good. Take a seat. Chef, this is uh, my wife. And first name, sorry? Trisha. Trisha, nice yeah, to see you. Nice to meet you. So, Trisha and Rick. Yeah, we're together. Yeah. And John is your partner. Yes. I'm going to have a good look at the menu and uh, look forward to catching up with all three of you. I'm really nervous about what he might order because there's quite a few items on the menu. And I know he's not going to like the pictures in there. Always nervous when there's menus with ghastly pictures. Did you need a few more moments? Um, do you know what? I'm going to order the uh, loaded potato pizza. Yeah, let's go for the uh, famous ribs. I'll go for this pulled pork cheese boat. Not a problem. Thank you, my darling. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Say a little prayer. Trust me, I already said a prayer today. OK, here's his order. Is that Ramsey? Yes, sir. I'm just hoping Gordon Ramsey isn't too hard on me because this type of food wasn't my idea. This fryer is ready to go. God, it's grim in here. Sad and grim. <laughs> and a carpet that looks like it's had a thousand buffaloes walking all over it. Holy shit. Yep. I now have a loaded baked potato pizza. Lovely. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's the strangest pizza I've ever seen. I'm going to ask my beloved father to bless my food. Gentlemen, can I ask a quick favor? Yes. What's yes. that? Would you mind just blessing my food? Oh, yeah, oh would you? sure. Yeah. If you'd be so kind. Absolutely. Well, good and gracious God, we ask that you bless this food. Bless Chef Gordon as he is about to receive it, that it may nourish him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Fingers crossed. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. What is all that on there? That is a ranch sauce. So they put a ranch dressing on the pizza? Yes. It's almost like sort of wallpaper paste. So the pizza sucks. I can see that right there. Can I help you? John, your pizza has bombs. To be honest, I, I've tasted the pizza, and it tasted good. I didn't see what he was talking about. The ribs are going to be right, huh? What do you think? Yep. Perfect ribs. Finally, the ribs. Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. I was hoping, maybe, just maybe, he'd like the ribs. Chef, I'm doing all right here. Yeah. Who's responsible for the sauce? Is it Chef's recipe or? It's a generic sauce. It's a shame, because it just I destroys do. the flavor. Uh, they are embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, you've got cartilage in there, a mouthful of fat, grease on the outside. That's not even trimmed. Sad. Uh, I agree. I'm very embarrassed. A bit like the restaurant. Sad. Dude, we're serving an untrimmed rib. What do you want trimmed off it? The fat. All ribs have fat on them. John doesn't get it. He's ordering an inferior rib. He's trying to cut corners. I'm just so frustrated that I feel like banging my head against the wall. Steamed sandwich with French fries. Thank you, Dwayne. Enjoy. Thank you. Processed cheese that just like gluing. Pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, that's pulled straight out of the bin. Sweet, taste of nothing, and absolutely ghastly. Oh, dear. We have a pulled pork sandwich. Oh, um, sorry, excuse me. Forgive me, Father, but oh. they have sinned, and I, out of respect for you guys, you're not going to eat that, OK? OK. I don't want to go straight to hell. Oh, man. Forgive me, they have sinned. After saving the priests from an ungodly meal, dear, oh dear, Gordon's anxious to meet the creative minds responsible for the food. Jeff, Gordon, are you the chef? We don't really have a chef. How can we not have a chef? The recipes don't really change. Everything's prepared the same way. You seem to stand proud of that. The menu was designed to cut a lot of the labor out. Cut a lot of labor out? And serve shit. I finally am glad that I have somebody who agrees with me as far as the standards on the food. John doesn't listen to me. Hopefully, he'll listen to Gordon. I think at Midwest Cuisine, you think of the excitement in terms of, you know, a lovely braised rib, a fantastic sauce. The sauce was synthetic. We sell a lot of them. 
Is that an excuse to serve shit because you sell a lot of them? Are you that lazy? Or you sell them, so fuck it, who cares? Oh, I'm sorry, the attitude stinks. Can we have a chat as owners? Yes, somewhere. Sir. Yeah, Where? together. Right now. Jeff, are ready. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, that went about as, as I expected. Yeah. Dissatisfied with the answers found in the kitchen, Gordon takes the owners aside, hoping to determine the root of the problem. What's wrong with the business? John. John has to be the leader here. He's not taking any ownership. Passion. Exactly. And there's none. I try, but without any money, the passion is tough when, you, when you're going downhill. How much are we in for if we have to close the door tomorrow? Million two. So you're, you're on your ass. I'll lose the first and only house I've ever owned. Yeah, we've never owned a house before. Any children anywhere? No, we no. can't have kids. I'm too busy babysitting two restaurants. Trisha, she deserves to have kids, too. My wife would love to have a child. She deserves it. But we can't do it because of Jay Willis. I mean, I just feel so bad because I keep... She's such a beautiful woman, I can't give her what she, she deserves. I, this wasn't how we planned our lives. We are in the ship. We're screwed. Gordon is hoping tonight's dinner service will give him some more answers as to why this restaurant is failing. Hi. Hi there. Welcome to Jay Willie's. How are you folks doing today? Floodgates is open. I want to begin the potato skins. Potato skins, sure. <laughs> I'm thinking the fish sandwich. Oh, uh, got a 16 inch pizza. What's that for? It's a special pizza. So that's a frozen dough. Yeah. Frozen dough. Ranch dressing, and then the, what are these little fish food pellets? That's, what are they? Yeah, pre frozen sausage. That's the saddest excuse I've ever seen for a piece of my life. There's no doubt I've taken some, I've cut some corners. Some of the items are frozen, and that's just from a cost point of view. What's that there? Uh, cooked chicken. I mean, it's like cat food in here. Well, it'll get fully cooked. It's really hard when you're trying to stay open. And what's in here? Some baked potatoes. You don't clean them before they go in? They're supposed to. My god. That's the. I, I didn't put them in the oven. Everything's reheat. God bless middle America. The quality of the food is just not there. I wouldn't feed it to my dog. It's embarrassing. It really is. Buy it. Defrost it, fry it, send it. You can't call yourself a restaurant. No wonder no one's coming back. Jay Willies is doing bad because John is not upholding the standards. What are up. OK, thank you. The things that I see in this restaurant, it's like he, he accepts it all and rolls uh, rolled over and died. You think it's too greasy? So you sent your fish back. Yes, I did. What is that? Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. I like it. It's frozen. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. My whole sandwich is like all fat. I want something I'm going to eat. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, lordy. What's wrong with that, darling? She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. It looks like a dog's dinner. What is that? No. Oh, my god. That is a shock. Uh, I'm absolutely devastated. I mean, they're cutting corners, but all in the wrong places. And John's clueless. Nobody's responsible for the kitchen, but overall, it's an insult to fast food. It's a fucking disgrace. Son of a... Why the ribs back? She said it was, these were too mushy, these were too cold. Oh. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, garlic, you bitch. It's my food coming back. They're not eating. I, I, I don't know what to say. Horrible. Food just put in the process line, more food coming back that's been sent out. I mean, it's almost like you guys have just, you know, given up. I'm standing here with my jaw on the floor. This was definitely humiliating, eye-opening, embarrassing. Gordon Ramsay's appearance at the restaurant may have brought in some extra customers. We're not eating. We're going to eat some else. But unfortunately, the food has scared many of them away. Jay Willie's is doing bad because John's killing off the business. That's the bottom line. 
after a miserable dinner service, Gordon decides that he needs to meet with not only the owners, but with the entire staff. We have some serious issues back there. I wanted you all together to get an idea of how you felt. And how does it make you feel when you serve that food? Not very good. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. I'm amazed you guys put up with it. It's getting harder and harder every day because the paychecks keep getting slimmer and slimmer. And our sales are dropping like a rock because of John's inability to make anything happen. Rick, you're not here. You're killing this man over here saying that he's not good at anything. And Sam wouldn't be here if this restaurant wasn't dying. So you don't, you can't blame this on me. I'm not it. blaming it all on you. There's no, stuff bro. everywhere. I'm saying so don't blame everything on stop. him. You're yeah, okay. you're never here. Yeah. I cannot come down here and run this restaurant. We live three and a half hours away. John has to do it. It has to come from John. The point, the point is, okay. you're just so, not helping so the business, your and you're point. blaming John for it, and it's wrong. He's here. Okay, yeah, he's so, here every and day. So what and he else goes have through I done it. To ruin our business? You know, this is our business too. I have mouths at home to feed. Now we to the cross. Rick's ridiculous. I really just want to punch Rick sometimes. To be honest, this whole issue is not what the problem is with this restaurant. The problem here, whether we all like it or not, is the food sucks. And it's not fresh. And even frozen food is handled badly. All three of you should be ashamed to stand there and allow it to go on. Is it time to get somebody else in to run it? I mean, you know, have you had enough? I believe it's still in me. I just need somebody to help. I need somebody to cover my back. All three of you need to wake up, and wake up quickly. Coming up, we're sat here wondering why the business is on his ass. Gordon uncovers more problems at Jay Willings. I wanted to hide my face so people wouldn't associate me with such crap. Forcing the owners to take drastic action. Unbelievable. Is the staff in this restaurant so clueless? And I don't know what to do. That it may be impossible for Gordon Ramsay to turn them around. I'm not going to do anything until like you're ready to commit. Don't give up on the shit. Up next on Kitchen Nightmares. After the staff meeting, Gordon takes a peek into the kitchen storage. What's that there? And uncovers the unthinkable. This is basic hygiene. It doesn't get drained and the blood is sat out in a warm kitchen. It's not even cold. John, there's more. When Chef Gordon pulled those potato skins out, I knew that he had found something that I wasn't going to like. So hold on a minute. That's going to be deep fried tomorrow. That's really going to make it taste better, right? The taste is a rot, and we're sat here wondering why the business is on its ass. It starts at the top, John. It's called responsibility. No wonder you've given up. I've been in denial, and I've lowered my standards, and it takes somebody like a Gordon Ramsay to come in and, and wake you up. Rotten tomatoes. Soft, rotten, oh. rotten peppers. The whole box is rotten. I wanted to crawl under the table and hide my face so people wouldn't associate me with such crap. If you seriously are honest with yourself that you are starting again, then we start again. Well, we'll do whatever it takes. I'd be fucking ashamed. Chef, I'm embarrassed. Where do I start with the problems in this restaurant? The staff have got their issues, but that's irrelevant. The big problem is the food, and the quicker they all get up to speed with how shit the food is, the better, because that is embarrassing. John, yeah. you're going to pitch all this crap? Chef Ramsay gave us a challenge to see if we're committed to changing this food and making it better. So it's a fresh start for every, everybody, everything. All right. Oh, my God, are they taking all the food out? They are. I guess we start new tomorrow. I guess so. I was absolutely ecstatic that he was throwing everything away. It has been a huge complaint for a long time. So how does it feel to throw all that away? Does it feel like a purging? Yeah, I have to now. It could. It's a huge amount of food that we threw away this evening. John, does it feel good? Yeah? We're starting fresh, and that means getting rid of everything. When I finally saw John throwing out food that he would have otherwise saved, I knew that we were taking the first step to making progress. OK, 
This is a fresh start to a fresh day. After the owners took it upon themselves to clean out their restaurant, this morning, Gordon is looking for the owners to bear their souls. Good morning. How are we? Good. Tough day yesterday. Real tough. Cleaned out the restaurant, cleaned out the kitchen, and I'd like to think we started a, a new chapter. I want to chat with you. I want to clean out our conscience. Rick, you're first, yeah? Let's go. OK. Clearing your conscience is about reaching inside and being honest with yourself. Yeah. Biggest fear is what? My fate rests in John's hands, and that really scares me. I want this to work desperately. I, I just haven't got much to work with. That's what I'm struggling with. Most people who face depression and problems I have give up, and I, I refuse to do that. I will fight till the last dog dies. I like your determination, you know that. I appreciate it, Chef. Who'd you turn to? I don't have a, anybody to voice my concerns, so it's been tough. Everything's pretty much inside. That's not easy. Truthfully, I'm just struggling to find an internal flame. Have you got it? Because I don't feel it. With support, I've got it inside me. It's there. What I saw last night was huge. What I uh, felt last night was huge. And what I feel this morning, I'm ready to go. I look forward to seeing you later. Trish, what do you want to see happen? I want John to be Jay Willie. <sighs> if I could take half a rig and put it in John's body, I think things would be a little bit better. He'd have more enthusiasm, a little bit more passion. He's just lacking in that. Thank you, Trisha. Thanks. Having gained a deeper understanding of the owner's situation, Gordon is ready to start implementing his plan, beginning in the place that needs it the most. Come through. The kitchen. Look at all that ingredients. What's that for? Barbecue sauce. Excellent. Barbecue sauce. First off, garlic, ketchup, chili, ground coffee, soy sauce, spice. First off, olive oil, yeah? Quite generous on the olive oil. That gives the shine on the sauce, yeah? It was an absolutely amazing experience working with Gordon Ramsay. Nicely caramelized. I'm just in utter awe of his ability as a chef. And then a molasses. That gives it its barbecue flavor, OK? That is that barbecue sauce. We're serving fresh, homemade barbecue sauce tonight. <laughs> in addition to the new Jay Willie's signature barbecue sauce, Gordon introduces a new hamburger special that Jay Willie's has never offered before, one made with fresh ingredients. Homemade burger, so with a homemade barbecue sauce and fresh cut homemade fries. Are we ready? Yes. As customers arrive, Just follow me. the kitchen prepares the new burger specials. We're serving real food tonight. And everyone seems eager to make tonight's service a success. We have a homemade fresh ground beef burger. I am going to have a burger. Yeah, thank you. Got your ticket. Go ahead and uh, get those fries coming. Four orders. You can do it. Tonight, prove it, yes? It's a half hour into dinner service. Kobe's are done. And the new burger specials are flying out of the kitchen. It's really fresh, isn't it? That barbecue sauce smells good. It's incredible in there. The difference in the energy is extraordinary. And it just goes to prove one single thing on the menu. Freshly made, homemade, sells like hotcakes. Oh, boy. Walking in, we got three chef specials going well done. The tickets kept coming in, and I got real nervous. I could barely read the tickets. Two medium wells and a medium. Make that two well done, five mid wells. I thought you said two mediums. I'll make it, make it a medium well. Dude, I need you to tell me what I have, dude, because now I'm all fucked up. I was frustrated. I wanted to throw stuff. I wasn't OK with the organization at all. Fuck, dude, I don't know what's going on. I'm fucking up burgers. Is this burger you gave me that well done? No, it was you said mid well. That's done, dude. All right, got an order up. Thank you. Despite the confusion over the burgers, burger, 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 they are rushed out to the dining room. A new burger? And the customers are in for an unpleasant surprise. It's pink. Is it pink? 
It's over. How many burgers have we got left? Uh, one more burger. OK, Christian. 86 burger, yes? Hey, yes, sir. Stop. All right. Yes? Yes. Make sure everybody knows, David, please. Yes, sir. Chris, I need two recooks, medium on the fly. Yeah, if we can't make that burger, we're completely out of ground beef. Oh, my gosh. All of a sudden, burgers came back undercooked, overcooked, and it's bad. We don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have it. You got a burger from the back? It's supposed to be well done? No, we're out. Unbelievable. I got another recook. This is ridiculous. We were all kind of freaking out. You know, it was scary. Burger's sitting over here. Burger's here. Burger's here. And I don't know what to do. It's an hour into dinner service, and the kitchen has run out of its special fresh hamburgers. We're completely out of ground beef. And the burgers that have been served are unfortunately coming back. We got a burger from the back. With no one taking control of the situation. I don't know what to do. The kitchen, and the restaurant for that matter, is in a state of confusion. Dave, could you uh, grab us a package of the old burgers? Sweet sourdough instead of buns? We gotta do what we gotta do. Get them out the burger. They're gonna love it anyway. Sourdough or bun. Hell yeah. I was just gonna keep trying to put the food out. Going back to regular fries. So we started making the burgers on sourdough bread and using the frozen french fries in and the frozen ground beef. Dude, this, I can't serve this. Can I? I don't care. Serve me what? I mean, I, I guess I have to. It doesn't, doesn't matter. In an effort to make good on the orders, order up, Ashley. A desperate kitchen staff lowers its standards and starts delivering cheap substitutes. Sorry about that. Good. Your bun? That is all we have is a bun. And the disappointment combined with the long wait is too much for one customer to bear. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like something else? So you ran out of the fries. You ran out of the bun. This is bad. No. The whole dinner is gone. Uh, it came, the burger came back. Sorry. Take it off for check. In tears. Oh, she's in tears? Yeah! <laughs> what is that pile of shit? What's that for? For the special burgers. What? Whoa, hey guys, why is that burger on there, the processed one? John, why did the 86 it when I said take it off? We were dropping the standards just a bit, but. We were under tremendous pressure because there were so many people out there that were anxious to try the food. If we haven't got the right buns, we shouldn't be serving it. And what's the point in lowering the standard just to keep it on? It doesn't make fucking sense. Boys, that's got to go bad. Ugh. He's afraid of pink. Sorry. Ugh. Now I got two paper plates around some sort of big meatball. <laughs> How do you run out of potatoes? <laughs> what do they say? It's disgusting, unedible. Unbelievable. Such a shame because we got off to a really good start, but then standards started dropping, but John and Rick accepted the standards dropping, and they just were happy to send slop. So a real sad ending to the evening, because right now, we're back to square one. You should be ashamed. I busted my balls all day today, thinking of a way of marketing this place and putting it back on the map. Oh, fuck it. Can't do it. Don't give up on my shit. I'm not going to do anything until I'm 100% convinced that you guys are ready to turn the corner. I seriously want to help. I need to know from each and every one of you that you're ready to commit. I commit. I do. I'm ready to commit. OK, see you in the morning. I'm here early. Taking the staff's word of commitment to heart, Gordon moves forward with his plan to transform Jay Willie's from a dreary restaurant into a more inviting establishment. Right, guys, good morning. Good How are we feeling? Can you see? Good now. Yes. Awesome. Does that look great? Jay Willie's Barbecue awesome. House. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. This is going to be the best barbecue house in town. Oh. Yes. Rick, what's the matter? Thank you. But if we don't execute tonight, hey. this is for shit. You're absolutely right. Well, we are going to play to our strengths tonight. And let's get positive. Come on. I am positive. OK, good. You own part of this place. So I'm going to be looking towards you to drive this forward. Yes? Yes. Last night, the minute you guys left, yeah, my team arrived. I've been working all night. Let's go. Huh? Yep. Now, 
Come through. First of all, oh new God. wallpaper, new paint. Oh, look at Vinyl this. tablecloths, yes? It's a new place. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh it's beautiful. I'm so overwhelmed. There are no words. There are no words. Look at it. And this. Oh, my like, gosh. Oh, it's just amazing. The brick facade to give it some warmth. Oh, my gosh. It's classy. Yeah. It was overwhelming for me. Just everything blew me away. Warm, vibrant, and exciting. Carpet, first time in 15 years. Hey, John, keep it clean. Yes? Keep it clean. Yes? And I'm not sticking to the floor. Look. John, what do you think? It's awesome. Yes? It's awesome. Rick, what do you think? That we don't deserve this. What do you mean, don't deserve it? Huh? Smack him. Hey. I just want to yell and scream, woohoo! I mean, oh, this good. is too much. This is too much. Every top barbecue house in the country has the best sauce. And that is what we're going to be famous for. Oh, Look over God. there. On site, homemade, a exclusive. And when people come to visit South Bend, Jay Willis, the best barbecue house in town, oh, it's my warm. Gosh. I want to stay in this restaurant. I want to spend money in here. Today is a moving experience, both in my career as well as my attitude. And I just, there's so much potential, I just can't wait. With the staff energized by the changes to the restaurant, Gordon now unveils his plan for the food. 75 items on the last menu. No wonder we couldn't control it. Hey, it's now in half. It's fresh and it's going to be quick. From the homemade burger, the BLT, to the pulled pork, potato skins, no processed cheese anywhere. Barbecue chicken, uh, spicy chicken wings and legs, yes. At this point, I think with the momentum that Chef Ramsay has given us, we are now committed to making this thing right. I'm going to do something I've never, ever done before. I've had my concerns about the lack of strength in the kitchen. They need a proper training and a proper insight to what's going on. I'm bringing in not one, not two, but four chefs. Scott, Kim, Michael, please, and April. This kind of tuition has never been done before. It's awesome. Chef Ramsay let us know that he was there for us. We will be ready for the relaunch of Jay Willie's tonight. Let's go. Coming up. Tonight is comeback night. Can Jay Willie's maintain their new standards during their most important dinner service ever? We can't drop standards. We're starting to slip. Come on. Or will they crack under the pressure? This is cold. This can't go out. Please concentrate. It's late, and I'm tired, and I'm hungry. This whole thing is just going to fall apart. Tonight's too important to fuck it up. That's next on Kitchen Nightmares. Jay Willies has come a long way in a matter of days. Oh, my gosh. It's awesome. And it's only minutes from relaunch. Tonight is comeback night, yes? Yes. yes. So, John. You've got to motivate the place, push it through its highs and lows. Don't just do it for Chef. Do it for the Gipper. <laughs> yes, the Gipper. OK, guys, let's go. We're opening four minutes, yeah? Right. Let's go, yes? Yeah? Let's go. Oh, yes. 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 I'm side your coleslaw. It looks a little different now. Chef Ramsay is hoping his chefs will give Jay Willie's kitchen staff the support it needs to make this critical night a success. Welcome to Jay Willie's. Welcome to new Jay Willie's. I'll take the baby back ribs. Yo, yo, kitchen! Get us wrong, let's go, we're gonna be busy. I'm so apprehensive because if we aren't perfect, then none of this matters. Now I might as well just get in my car and drive home. Let's rock this shit out. Dave, you gotta expedite. You and Steve, you gotta stay connected. Come on, let's go. Let's get this shit out. In all my being, I didn't want to fail. I was a little scared. Order up, 122. These guys have never been held to these standards. Yeah. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> this is wonderful. Yeah. Good sauce, different. It's good. Oh, really good. Sean, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Got off to a good start. Um, vibrant in there. Food looking good, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. How are we? The no bacon on the potato skins was not cool. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. Let me check on your entrees. Nice to see you all, Thank yes? You, Chef. <laughs> entrees will be fabulous. OK, guys, the skins they just sent, was it, there was no bacon in there. Please concentrate. Yes, sir. Cream corn and mac. It's all good. No, Dave, 
We do not send the dirty plates. We're getting busy, guys. We're starting to slip. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, Chef Ramsay busted me out. You know, there's a little barbecue sauce in the corner. Get it out. This is our ticket time. I'm so hungry now. We all are very hungry. It's the heart of dinner service. And in spite of the pressure to get dishes out, Unbelievable. Gordon insists on the staff maintaining its standards. Kept the customers waiting. We can't keep them waiting for that. Hey, yes, gotcha. What table? 1.14. Time is 7 o'clock. There you go. go. All right, one fourteen, Steve. We're waiting for an hour. One fourteen. That's our next check. Our next yeah. check. Come on, come on, come on. Let's push it, Steve. Come on, man. Uh, it's 8.30, honey. It is, it is. It's late, and I'm tired, and I'm hungry. John. Standards, come on, yeah? The kitchen really got behind. Part of it was my fault because it was overwhelming for me. Come on, guys. Can we stop pushing food around the outside of the plate? They can't eat off the rim of a plate, guys. Yes, yes chef. Okay. We can't drop standards. Last fucking time, okay? Once fine, twice slightly pissed, three times. Take your jacket off and fuck off, yeah? Yes, chef. Thank you. Now clean it, John. As the backup in the kitchen continues to grow, John turns his attention to the potential disaster in the front of the house. One drink, and I need food. She trusts me. OK. She needs food. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> I, uh, I got to yeah. talk to these people. Do you? And uh, okay. just trust I don't know me. your name, though. My name, Jay Willie. Jay? Oh. That's me. Jay? John? Yeah, John, gonna... I need some food. OK. OK. I'm going to do my best. How long's the wait? It's running pretty late right now. Let's worry about our standards and not worry about that, all right? John. Can we look? Why are you going to run out with that, John? Look, 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 look. If you, you taste that, then, and just think of an ice pile of shit. Yes, customers are waiting, but are we happy with that? You are happy with no, it. No, I'm not. Come on, then. Standards. There's so much stress. The guests were starting to get pretty tired of waiting. I did drop my standard, and I shouldn't have. I'm ready to go home. I'm We're taking a bunch of Steve and I'll go home. I mean, that is kind of ridiculous. We'll get free desserts, right? Uh, I'll do my best to take care of you. I had so many people were upset, and I was embarrassing. I, I was just I was ready to pack up and leave at that point. We could, I'm sorry, we cook it fresh to order. Come on, guys. Tonight's too important to fuck it up. Come on. I'll be back. Come on, please, Dave. No one's getting a handle of this, and I'm getting fucking irritated here. All right. Gosh. The thought of crumbling existed most of the night, but the feeling was, I hope it just doesn't explode. Gosh. I'm leaving. Two hours. No food, and it's just tough. I just want you to know, this isn't going to last. Thank you. Come on, guys. Tonight, Jay Willie's kitchen is being tested like it's never been tested before. We do not send a dirty place. And although the standards are better than ever, it's been a wait too long. I'll be back. One customer Gosh. is fed up with the wait. A few hours. No food. All right. And it's just tough. I just want you to know, this isn't going to last. I'm leaving. John, break. Two seconds, both of you a minute. I know tables have walked out, and we can't just all walk around with our heads on the floor. No. Come on, then. Dig deeper. Yeah. Tables are backed up. It's not the end of the world, is it? We've still got to keep it going. Right. But I if you give up, that. they give up. I'm sorry. Are we good? Play to the very end it means the last ticket. I'm with it. Ready? Come on, guys. Okay, let's go. We got it. We're going to have to push the staff, or else this whole thing is just going to fall apart. Wait a minute. This is cold. This can't go out. That's all we needed. Fuck. You sound just like Gordon. Yeah, Come on. OK. No problem. With the owners stepping up, the staff gets inspired, which in turn motivates manager Dave. Come on, let's let's calm down and focus. We need some ribs and chicken, baby. Serve it. You no, know, I, I do feel that I'm going to have to step up and take charge and get her done. Six combos I need now. All right, let's do it. Full rack, tri-tip entree, and a half rack. Let's worry about our standards. You hear that? Make sure the ribs are hot. Oh, they're hot. They're beautiful. Service, please. Come on, you Muppet. Let's go. The kitchen has shifted into high gear. And with one final push, the highly anticipated food is on its way to the customers. Oh, it's very good. Tender, spicy. All right. It's very good. Best ribs I've ever had. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
All right, got an order up. Now we're moving. Now we're doing good. Let's keep it up. Food's coming out right. I believe that John, he's realized he will not accept substandard quality. Good deal. All right. We got a dining room full of locusts, man. They've eaten everything except for the plate. Every plate I've picked up has been clean. Awesome. All we got to do is get these tickets out, man. Just this last bag. Oh, I think I see the light at the end of the tunnel, folks. Now, I, I don't feel like I'm a man on an island alone. I know that Rick and Trish will be here to support me. That food looks beautiful. Yeah. The hamburger is the best hamburger I ever had. There's one worth the wait, I guess. And we will be back. With the local seal of approval, Jay Willies is on the road to recovery. It was so nice to see clean plates coming back. Yes? Yes. yes. And we were so busy. 165 customers. I know there were some complaints, and it was difficult, but the kitchen got slammed, and more importantly, we held on to our standards. And now that we know how to do it, don't stop. We won't. Okay? They won't let me. No, no, no. no. Chef Ramsey has taught us have a passion and make it perfect, and don't accept any excuses. John, if they offer you a little less expensive cheese, and it might no. Not no. no, 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 no process. No, 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 no. The staff has changed. John has changed. I'm overwhelmed with sincere thanks for Chef Ramsey. Without him, we would not be here now. What's the feedback from the dining room? They loved yeah. it. The word is starting to spread. Yeah, definitely. You've got your foot on the ladder. It's really important that you continue climbing. You all did a bloody good job, and I'm really proud of you. Kitchen boys, yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, ladies. Thank you very much. John you. has a new bounce and a step. He has to know that we're on his side and that we're all in this together, and it's just not him taking on the world. It's all of us and get ready, because we're going to take on the world. Wow. It's been very interesting for me to come to the heart of America and meet a really nice bunch of hardworking, humble individuals. But when I first arrived, I honestly thought the restaurant was beyond salvation. But tonight showed a little glimmer of hope. So long may it continue, and heaven help them. In the days that followed, everyone at Jay Willie's worked hard to keep their standards up. Let's do it. Start hollering out. Thank you, gentlemen and continued to perfect their barbecue sauce. A sauce that earned Jay Willie's first prize at the College Football Hall of Fame Ribs Cook-Off. <laughs> With a taste of success, the staff at Jay Willie's continues to work together to make its new barbecue house a success.